Back Science TV 111, Oseka 4. I'm back at y'all again out here at Atlanta Airport. Um, you know, kind of building with some brothers on the way in. But yeah, I just wanted to stop to kind of build on economics. A lot of us don't know that even though we live in the matrix, we still have to be able to maneuver through this illusion. Because even though you're an illusion, you still have to wake up to reality and know that you got children to take care of. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of us, for an example, saying, fuck the Black Friday and all of that. But hey, you got to wake up to reality and, and look at this, man. All of this stuff that they doing on Black Friday, I'm against it myself. But you, you, can, you can hustle. You got to hustle. You got you to use your common sense when it comes to being able to maneuver in this illusion. You still got to feed your kids. Buy a few TVs, a few laptops, throw it on the market. Flip your money. You know what I mean? Get your money. Don't be stupid. You can still be against um, the illusion and still use it to, for, to its advantage. You get what I'm saying? You have to use it to your advantage because a lot of people don't know that when you let, um, when you let your pride get in the way, this is when your intelligence go out the door because now your self-preservation and the laws of nature, the things that you're supposed to utilize within these systems, goes out the window. You process your own moral values towards yourself and your family. You get what I'm saying? I'd be damned if my child star. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to teach him every hustle with a game. I'm a hustler. I'm not just out here um, teaching metaphysics. I invest in stocks. You get what I'm saying? A lot of stuff that you're against, you can still play that game. They play it with you. They teach their kids how to run the economic system over top of your children's head. But we sit back all day talking about some black power, but when we go home, our kids starve and they ain't got no real estate. They ain't got nothing to look back on. They have to go through the same thing we went through. You get what I'm saying? We have to wake up. We have to graduate from this madness. You get what I'm saying? It's not about you selling out. You ain't selling out because you have to understand that your power is your power. It's about you and you and your children. You get what I'm saying? Because everybody else now will come to your defense. If you, out, if you asked out on the street, most of these people that you think with you and for you ain't gonna be there for you. They ain't gonna come and pay your bills and get you off the streets. You gotta be smart. Everybody got their own individual destiny. Fate didn't put you here with the same authorship. You don't have, everybody don't have the same author. You get what I'm saying? I can't go in your direction. You can't go in my direction. And that's why we still stuck in the game. Because we planned the game and they winning over top of our head. You got to get in this game to win. It's not about being selfish or cold hearted. But at the same time, it would be selfish for us to let our children endure the same thing that we had to endure. The pain. The suffering. You get what I'm saying? You have to create your own world and live in it. Your economy starts in your house. It starts in your mind and it starts in your home. You manifest your power. The word black is a classification, so there's no power behind that. You get what I'm saying? The power lies within you. Your power don't look like mine and mine don't look like yours. A lot of these people are in the conscious community claiming to be on the streets, from the streets, hustlers and things like that, but yet, they, they don't even know they're playing the game of the same people that's oppressing them. You out here debating and lecturing, but the person that's setting up your debate and your lectures, they making the big money. They making money over your head. There's certain levels to the game. And if you don't have any type of ethics and codes or any type of um, self laws that you create under your own self and follow and define your own laws, then you want to forever be oppressed under somebody else's system. Those people in the conscious community ain't gonna feed your kids. Saying black power every single day ain't gonna feed your kids. I'm not trying to tear down nobody's game. If you wanna scream black power, that's for you. But we all know that black was created under classifications. So where's the power at behind that? Get back to me, let me know something on that. Because while you screaming black power, I'm investing for my child. You can use that same energy to invest for your children. But yet you, you wanna walk around here and, and, and unite under a frequency that's not even adding up. Everybody's mind is not going to be on the same path. And that's why it's easy for you to get bit. Now, I'm not surprised when people bite me. You shouldn't be surprised neither. Because you shouldn't put your faith or obligations as the people who's not on the same path as you. They ain't come out your mother's womb with you. They came out their own individual womb. So that means they got to think individually to get their individual power. The power lies within you. It's time for us to wake up. You get what I'm saying? So while y'all screaming, you know, fuck Black Friday and all that, I'm going to use that to my advantage. 
I'm going to use that to my advantage because they're going to make money on our head, so why not buy that stuff, get it cheap, and then sell it on their head, put it up on the market? You got to eat at the end of the day, man. Most of these people that you look up to, they business people. But the entertainment, when, they, when you see them in public in front of the camera, it's all entertainment. One thing about me, I'm going to keep it real with you. I ain't going to never tell nobody to waste your time um, entertaining some black power shit and then go home with your kids starving. I'm going to tell you, you got you to look at reality first. Your kids come first. That's first and foremost. You get what I'm saying? Let's stop playing the game because it makes us look foolish. When we buy into the, um, the academics that they place before us, that they, they put before us that we carry out for them. We keep them strong. We keep them in power. So when are you going to empower yourself? Go and get you some of these penny houses in your city and flip some houses. Leave them to your children. Even if they don't want to live in them, teach them how to, how to flip them. Teach them how to rent them out. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, this right here, this, this segment right here is not about metaphysics. I ain't here to teach on nothing. I'm just here kicking it with y'all to, to make you think, man. A lot of these people out here, the very thing that I'm telling you, they doing behind your back. Don't let these people throw you off and make you think that it's all about being liberated. You have to be liberated first because if you don't have no liberation um, energy for yourself, you can't give energy to somebody else to liberate themselves. And even at that, again, they have their own individual destiny, and you have your own. This is a fact. Many of y'all don't want to hear what I'm saying. A lot of people might be saying, oh, he, he against, I ain't against black power. I was in that before, and I never sold out, and I never will sell out. That's why I'm trying to tell you, keep it real with yourself and deal with reality. Your kids need you. They need us. And they can't eat off of no fist being pumped in the air. They can't eat through none of that shit. You have to be real with your kids because they ain't going to be real with you. You have to invest in them in order for them to invest in you. What you put out, you get back. That's just real talk. All right? So with that much said, Black Science TV 111, Osaka 4, I'm out. Peace. Bleak mode. Bleak mode. Bleak mode. Shit. I remember I called home and need a crack.